Tree huggers for life! Yeehaw! There are two things in life that are inevitable, and those two things are one, death, and two, taxes. I'm about to take care of one of them right now. Jeez. Don't get me wrong, if I had a choice between the two, I'd pay the taxes. Yes, I still have radio problems. It's really, really crappy and rainy today. And this morning it was even hailing. Now it's raining slash snowing. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that Mondays with crappy weather result in the highest suicide rate, I believe. Not good. But enough about talking about weather and suicide and all that kind of stuff. We are currently at Jake the Toilet Snake's house. As you can see, his beautiful Sonoma sitting right over there. Because I think Jake's got some news. And that's good news. I do believe it's about his bike. And if that is the case, I really wish I had painted this stand already because we could use it. But I don't want to take it out today because it's rainy and then that's bare metal, it'll rust right out. Jake, I apologize in advance. What am I supposed to do now that you're gone? Cause I, stay <sighs> I found Jake the toilet snake. He was under a rock. Yeah. No, not really, he was in a shop. Uh, he's got big plans for the day. I just have to put new plastic on the bike. We got this here, that there. So what the hell's going on with the bike over there? I broke it. What the hell? That thing looks awesome. You should keep it like that. I don't think so. Yeah, dude. Just screw the mud. Just take it to the face. And you'll look all original. Like, who rides like this? Nobody. You could be the fir the one and only. Yeah. That thing looks ace. I don't know. I, I just thought it looked goofy. We're putting the plastic on. <laughs> I so, I don't know if you guys can remember this, but he's like, I hit a tree. I think I was with Chris and Luke. Yep. And you're like, I hit a tree. I'm like, really? He's like, yep. And the throttle got caught wide open because, like, ice froze on the throttle cable. It does look funky, though. Yeah. Looks pretty awesome. I think it'd be uh, good to do wheelies. Oh, yeah. No. See exactly where that front tire is without, without any problem. There you go. You just invented that, Jake. Yeah. Everybody's going to want to break their front fender now. No, because then you're going to get all that water. You're going to... Like you said, right in your face. You must have hit that tree pretty freaking hard, dude. This thing exploded. Oh! Jake, does it feel like Christmas? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> So it came with the back fender, the front fender, the, is this the number, radiator okay, shroud. the radiator shrouds, and the number plate. Yep. And like he says, he's got the decals in the mail, so he doesn't want to put all the new stuff on right now because he doesn't want to get it dirty and thinged up and have a crappier surface to adhere the new decals or whatever. Exactly. <laughs> and I'm also going to my first motocross race this weekend. I don't want to break something there. Yeah, that's so more poppy. See that? Mine's made for extra horsepower. Yeah, it's pretty. So you can put a nice little go cam or something on here. I think that's what that's for. Does anybody know what that's for? If so, leave in the comment section below. Maybe a flag for like a sand dune or... I stuffed my bike in the corner for now so Jake has plenty of working space because after all it is uh, his place. Jake, we need to get a sign made up for you. Maybe a fan will send you one. You totally need one. Where would it go? Wherever, man. But he bought some thread locker, only the best, even though uh, you guys have sent plenty of it, and I told him he didn't have to buy any. Um, he... They're small containers. They're uh, convenient ones. Oh, okay. Can, uh... So we'll use mine when we're, like, here and stuff, and then these, like, when you're out on the trails. Sure. Okay. Makes sense. I'll throw it right in my little handy-dandy KTM bag. This thing comes in clutch every time. It has like the the only tools you need for a KTM. It has them all right in that little box. Yeah, remember changing my spark plug? Yeah, Before everything was there. Got the job done. That was really intense. Was your adrenaline running? I was. I, I would have been very pissed if I was able to. Jake, let's get a nice little tag picture here. Dude, that looks amazing. I can't wait to see the decals. Does it say Jake the Toilet Snake? 
Now I almost. Ah! That would have been so fly. That would have been the most froggy fresh thing I've ever seen in my life. I'm telling Jake about the Kodiak and how it's like done. I just have one more aftermarket thing that I'm going to put on it. And a lot of you guys have guessed it and a lot of people have guessed it right. And some people have put things in the comment section that I... Crazy. So Jake, what do you think it is? Handlebar grips. <laughs> Jake, you got it buddy. <laughs> See, I don't have to worry about that because uh, mine's broken. Yeah, mine's it used to rub right here. Not anymore. <laughs> Little log and a falling over dirt bike fix that. I'm gonna be going hardcore at this motocross right Oh, now. hardcore, huh? How many horsepower is this modification gonna give you? Zero. Come on! The only problem, Dalton, is since I'm getting new plastic, I'm gonna get another uh, sticker off the... Oh, we can hook you up. I don't blame you, man. Extra horse. But I need to get it out. That's extra weight, dude. <laughs> if you're worried about, about that kind of weight, you better shave your head. <laughs> There's two of them. They're making little rock babies. Yeah. Little pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> I try to be environmentally friendly and reuse all the stuff that I... Reuse and recycle. Yeehaw! Tree huggers for life! Is this your ramp? Have you tried it yet? No. You wanna try it? What's the plan? Oh, we're gonna go try this out. <laughs> Jake built this stand. Uh, if you guys can remember the video where he had to drop me off because he had to go to work and I had to walk home. That's the one. He finished it up. Now we're gonna test it. Me and him are both gonna stand on it. Our weight is less than him and his dirt bike, so if it breaks now, it's gonna break then. You know what else I wanted to do? I wanted to uh, take off my... Uh... We probably shouldn't tell them that. What? <laughs> no, what are you talking about? <laughs> We're using recycle. Jake, don't throw that away. You could use it probably three or six more times. So he had four of these things. And Dalton goes ahead and breaks two on me. He's like, what kind of weld job is this? I'm like, well, not a good one, but it <laughs> does its job. No, it didn't. When I can break a weld that holds <laughs> things like this, that's gonna hold weight when they're wet, it's no good, dude. You don't want your nice helmet breaking. I that's, was saving you. I was true. saving you, buddy. That's why I put sets there and put mine over here. I agree. <sighs> like I said, family-oriented show, Jake. We gotta fix that. Can we fix that today? KTM Bromance? You're killing me, Smalls. I'm currently working on dialing in my back brake with some Loctite. And Jake's working on his ramp. We actually had to cut it. So my battery's honestly going to die. So just know that we're gonna hopefully build Jake's ramp and I'm gonna fix my bike. I hope you guys enjoyed the 3D Machines and Jake the Toilet Snake production. Until tomorrow. 3D Machines out.